Hey guys, welcome to The Squeeze, the show where we get to squeeze out juicy entertainment and infotainment news for your enjoyment. My name is Seymour. You couldn't have said that any better, Seymour. <laughs> right here on The Squeeze, we got the mouth-watering gist that have made rounds over the past week and deliver them straight to your TV screens. My name is Nancy. Woo! Hope you all had a fantastic Easter celebration because Nancy and I sure did. <laughs> Without further ado, we head straight to the headline. Nothing interesting about being married except it saves you money two short says peace square on the verge of splitting femi kuti receives a medal from the grammys for his nominations femi otedola's daughter dj copy made tourism ambassador whiskey and manager godwin tom part ways interesting interesting yeah, there's a lot more how faith osakwe became president jonathan's adopted child ice springs in dilemma Man wants him to perform at his wedding, but his bride is his ex. Woo. <laughs> well, soft skin alleged to be man in viral video withdrawing money with stolen card. Actor Columbus Short threatens to kill his wife and commit suicide. Man proposes to girlfriend at Bini Airport. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> juicy, juicy headlines. You know how we do, guys. We never, ever fail to deliver. We'll go on a quick break now, and when we come back, we'll delve straight into the stories. I know you don't want to go anywhere. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Talking about what marriage has taught him in a recent interview with Punch, rapper Too Short, who got married exactly one year ago, said there's really nothing interesting about married life except for companionship and money that he saved. <laughs> Whoa. In his words, he said, and I quote, I have learned a lot of things they just never tell you. There is no interesting thing about being married except for the companionship and it saves you a lot of money. You no longer have to eat out and you don't have to spend money on a couple of girls. Now it's just your wife. <laughs> it prevents you from doing some things that are either promiscuous or unnecessary. Hmm. His wife, Precious, also explained how they met on Twitter. Man. The rate at which people are finding love on social media, though. What are you waiting for, Nancy? <laughs> really? Really? You don't want us to chop your riding rice, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, thank you. Thank you very much, Simo. You chop the rice when the time is right, and it definitely will not be from Twitter. Okay. Definitely not. Okay, then, Nancy. While we wait for Nancy's right time, I'll just carry on with the news. Well, Precious said, and I quote, I met my man on Twitter. I can't remember who followed who first. But I remember he put up a picture of his apartment and I commented without knowing who he was. Hmm. He thanked and we got talking. We moved to the conversation from Twitter to phone, then to Skype. I was in Ireland, came to Nigeria for Christmas and we met in person. Okay. Hmm. Well, first of all, can you imagine him saying it doesn't Marriage is nothing but, you know, helping you save money. In I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I, I, I like the way that sounds. I cannot I mean, be married and, you know, married to a man and then you ask him a question and he says, there's nothing special to being married to me. Yeah. If you're and married. And for real, you mean he actually met his wife on social media. That's a first for celebrity. Yeah. That's, and you know, they definitely, lots of celebrities, they meet women on Twitter and social medias, but they never really get to get married to them. I have never heard about it. And for the fact that his, the wife, you know, brings it out, if, if they didn't talk about this, I wouldn't have known they met on exactly. Twitter. Exactly. But I hope they last anyway. I hope they stay for a long time. I know they will. Hopefully. Hopefully. So there's been rumors about the music duo P-Square being on the verge of splitting. Mm. When P-Square's publicist, Bayo Ade Tutu, was asked on the 18th of April about the report, he said it was baseless and untrue. But according to reliable sources, it's either Bayo is clueless as to what is happening in the Okoye household at the moment, or he thinks the best thing to do for now is deny that there's nothing going on. Mm. Unfortunately, P-Square fans, things are allegedly said to be getting worse as Peter Okoye wants out of P-Square and they have gone as far as inviting a lawyer to divide their fortune. The source went on to say Peter Okoye has moved out of the Squareville mansion in Omole where he lived with his brother for years and now lives in Lucky Face One with his wife and kids. Uh, well, an industry source, uh, according to our reliable source, went on to say, yes, they fought this week. Peter even left a mark on Paul's left eye. But the fight wasn't during rehearsal. Which rehearsal? Peter has refused to do anything P-square for weeks now. Forget that he was at his brother's wedding. Things are not good between them right now. 
Peter wants out. He said Paul and Jude are sidelining him that if they push out 200 songs, 199 will be songs Paul did. The people are now calling him a dancer in his square. Peter is really angry. He's even the cool and friendly one between the brothers, but he is not himself right now. And then he accuses brother Jude of disrespecting his wife. Peter and Jude haven't spoken in weeks. Peter said Jude has been disrespecting his wife Lola for years and he was done tolerating the BS. You know what that means. We can't say that on TV. <laughs> in fact, Peter said that not only is Lola older than Jude, but she's also pregnant and Jude was upsetting a pregnant woman. If you notice, Jude didn't attend your wedding last year despite the fact that he was in Nigeria. Jude asked Peter why he didn't marry Lola when their mother was alive. Jude said it's his wife that is pushing him and they will need to pray for him. In fact, mm -hmm. nobody in the Okoye family likes Lola Whoa. and they didn't support the marriage. Mm -hmm. The brothers are really angry at each other. The police is even involved. This week, either the commissioner of police or someone from his office visited their house. All of this is according to a source who is also in the industry. Wow, wow. If you thought the source was done spilling, well, you better have a rethink as the source went on to spill more, saying the worst part is that they have invited a lawyer to come and share the property. They want to share everything. The lawyer was at their house. Peter said no more P-Square joint ventures. You know, they own everything together, including the house in Omoli, Parkview, and Atlanta. Except something is done fast, P-Square is about to be finished. But I know that people have been intervening and begging them to reconsider that they are the biggest door in Africa. Nobody will benefit if they split. The power to make money is in their togetherness. It is Jude people are begging to keep the brothers together. But after what he tweeted, it may truly be over for Peace Square. Jude has really tried for his brother. For him to give up may mean it's over for them. He practically put his entire life in hold for his brothers. Even sold his first car to shoot their first video. But all that is about to come to an end, like he tweeted. The only thing that can save the situation is if by a miracle, Jude and Lola settle their differences. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Oh my god. And all of this, please you guys, all of this is according to the sauce. Yeah, the it's, still, sauce. it's still rumor. None is from us. None yeah. is from us. It's still allegedly, it's yeah. all a rumor. And... Um, which is so sad. But it's going to be really sad if that ever happens. It I will. mean, these are two people that we have, we have, you know, we, we tell other groups to say, look, look at Peace Square. They're you still know, together. You know, know Peace Square, we love you. Please, please do not split. And I hate the fact people are saying it's because of a woman. It's because yeah. of the woman in between us. Please, we don't do nothing like that. We are, women can be, you know, we can be nags, but I don't think we can come between two bonds that have been forever. Yeah, especially two brothers. Twin brothers. No, please, you guys, no. please keep the bond together. We want to see more of Peace Square. Very we true. don't want to see one Peter and one Paul. We want to see Peace Square, please. I think it's going to work. I tell you. I like so, the fact that there's somebody who does a lot of singing and dancing. And then there's also the dark. I love the dancing. So, exactly. Peter, please, you need to stay put with the piece square. Thank exactly. you. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on now while we hope for the best. After four Grammy nominations, Femi Kuti finally got a medal from the Grammys. Yippee. The Afrobeat King posted a tweet which read, Received the medal from my nomination from the Grammy, brought Quote smiles. We say a very big congratulations to you, congratulations. our dearest Femi Kuti. Yeah, congratulations to him. Finally, it's a great one. I tell you, finally, because we're already worried about the fact that we're always nominating him and he was never winning. Yeah. But now he has a medal. So, yay, from the Grammys. That's amazing. True. Famous UK based DJ, DJ Copy, shared the good news on her Instagram page on the 17th of April. She shared the pictures from her presentation on her page and wrote, On behalf of the Ministry of Culture, Tourism and National Orientation, I am so honored and proud to be officially dressed as a tourism ambassador for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ooh, that's amazing. When did she come to Nigeria? When did she get. Wow, that's you know, fast. And the funniest part is everyone is thinking because it's because her father is $50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, we still cannot look past that fact. You know, there's, it's always the rich getting richer in Nigeria. You no, know, but there's but, always something about it. Yes, but apart from that, I think this DJ has an amazing talent. Do you have think you seen so? her play? Um, I have seen her play, okay. I have seen her perform, and I think she's got talent. But I do okay. not know at what. It's like they didn't give her the chance to really prove herself to her fans or to yes, Nigerians. Because we all are saying it's because this. of her family background. Yeah. But you know, congratulations. There's nothing we can do about it. Even if we True. think it's undeserving, you already are um, an, ambassador. an ambassador. So, congratulations so. to you, and we hope you use your post 
to do better for the good important. of Nigeria. That's the most the important. good of all, exactly. Well, Whiskey has parted ways with his manager, mm. Godwin Tom. According to industry sources, the two ended their business relationship this past weekend after a disagreement. Whiskey has since removed Godwin Tom's contact information from his social media pages and replaced with another name. Godwin posted a tweet that read, I'm loyal and patient, not stupid. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> uh, man, that sounded like a rhyme. I really we don't, don't know. What know. Happened between them, I don't know. know. But I don't. I, I need to, you know, say something. Why is it that when we have disagreement with people, we are always in a hurry to delete their contacts and just throw it away, like we just want to clear them out of our lives? It's a normal. It's a human reaction. It's, it's just. It's like it's there. The first thing you want to do is get rid of them. That's the first thing you want to do. But I think I we do that out of pain, out of hurt. Of course, when you have a disagreement, you're hurt. So there's no way you won't act accordingly. I really, I'm not that kind of person. If I have okay. a disagreement with someone, I don't just delete their contact or, you know, throw. You're no. one of the few in the world. I just leave it for a while. I want to be able to learn my anger out without doing all of that. You're one of the few in the world. But we hope you guys come together. Godwin and Whiskey. Um, he's been managing Whiskey for a long time. Yeah. I hope you guys come together. And uh, well, best of luck. You guys are men. You can handle your, 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 your. Mm. we'll just stay out of it. <laughs> we'll stay out of it now. <laughs> okay then. So we got to meet one of President Jonathan's adopted kids. He has quite a few. Faith Osakwe, who married her heart probe, Osim Edwards, this past weekend in Abuja. Facts have emerged on how the president and his wife, First Lady Patience Jonathan, adopted Faith and her siblings in 2000. That's correct. Well, according to reports, Faith is a daughter of late engineer Okanzibe Sakwe, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Bielsa State, and also a bosom friend of the Jonathans, who died in a fatal motor accident in 2000. After his death, President Jonathan and the First Lady adopted his four children, Faith, Arewera, I'm sorry, Adolphus, Aruabai, and Abayola, and took responsibility of their welfare and education over the, for the last 14 years. That <coughs> is a good man. I must say, is the most amazing thing I've heard in the last few days. Yes, and as wow. much as you know, we think that, um, you know, President Jonathan is blah, 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 blah. We still are very grateful for this gesture he's yeah. made. You Did know? you see the wedding? Did you see how proud, the smile on his face when like he was walking father. the... No, really? God bless you. God bless you, President Jonathan. Oh, that's and, amazing. Um, lady... Um, Patience. Faith, yeah, Lady yeah, patience. yeah. Lady patience, and we, yeah. we wish you Faith and uh, Edwin. We yeah. wish you guys uh, uh, the best in your marriage, yes. happiness, all and the good best that marriage has Fruitful to offer. Marriage. True that, <laughs> and we're hoping the Nancy get there pretty soon so we can attend and I can have all the pictures. What's this okay. thing with wedding? Man? Oh, yeah, moving on. Recently, rapper Ice Prince posted a tweet asking how much you would charge if you were asked to perform at your ex-girlfriend's wedding. In the tweet, he wrote, "LOL." This guy gets hard to try to book me to perform at his wedding and he's getting married to my ex. We cool, but he gotta pay. He gotta pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he went for the same. Your opinion, guys. If you're an artist and you're being booked to perform as a surprise to the bride, she your ex and he knows how much are you charging. This, I think we should get Ice Prince in the show and talk about about <laughs> it because i don't understand first of all i think it's too much information he's pretty excited about it you know it doesn't happen <laughs> to everybody where you just wake up and your ex your ex's fiance is calling you to come perform at their wedding you know usually there's this uh, beef between ex and the present yeah. you know so that's i think uh ice cream you just need to grow up already and move on the guy yeah, has accepted you so you just have to but what if the guy doesn't know who doesn't know? What if the bro the groom? Is the groom who is inviting him? Yeah. What if the groom doesn't know that, that Ice Prince and his supposed he knows you he sure? wants it to be a surprise for his bride, so he wow. knows that Ice Prince is the ex. Well, that could be another way for the wife to get over Ice Prince for good. I'm sure she has. We Nigerians, we move on pretty fast. You sure? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do. She's getting married, but <laughs> we don't know. I think the groom should stop taking advantage and pay. Pay. He's an artist. Pay Nobody Ice Prince. has to pay his business. Exactly. His exactly. Business. So Ice Prince gets your money. <laughs> Well, we would like to know what you guys at home think about this. How much would you charge the groom? Would you even feel comfortable performing at the wedding? Or do you think Ice Prince went too far by posting such information? Let us know what you think by writing to us via our social media platform. You know how much your opinions 
matter to us. Don't be shy, guys. We would like to read your views and your opinions. Please write to us. We're begging you, please. <laughs> well, moving on. A recent Slovenian's video was released online showing someone who looked like rapper Soskid, you know, we call him Sinzu, perpetrating debit card fraud in Houston. Whoa. The video was posted on a local US website, ablocal.gov.com, and they said authorities were looking for a man wanted for withdrawing money from a victim's bank account at an ATM in Walgreens store on 8535 South Bracewood, Southwest Houston, on March 2nd, 2014. <laughs> Sinzu, who has since deleted his Instagram page, said he's not the one in the surveillance video. But Godwan, who is said to be a sworn enemy to the rapper, is convinced he's the one in the video and posted this tweet literally calling the rapper a thief and a purse snatcher. Um, the person in the surveillance video, video. looks so much because like there were so. pictures of Suskid. Suskid right now is in Houston. Let's get this straight. Suskid is in Houston at the moment. Whoa. And Suskid posted pictures of the same hair that the surveillance camera picked up. Yeah. The person in the video walks like Suskid, Whoa. looks like Suskid, Whoa. had the same hair as Suskid. Whoa. Do you understand that? So I want you guys to understand Free that. The, 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 exactly. And Suskid's name is on the crime list. Like, you know, when they put up names of people. Yeah, who, those and people. we don't know if it's from before or, or if it's present. present. Okay. His real okay. name, um, Falola something, yeah, but you know, Suskid has his name on the list. Wow. So literally, what Suskid did immediately after this video came out, he deleted his Instagram page. Wow. Yes. So, Saskin, we don't know what's going on. He has already talked to a publicist and told the publicist, you know, Godwin is just trying to start stuff because they have a okay. beef amongst themselves. Okay. But Saskin, the whole of Nigeria thinks that is you. Unless you come up with a better better explanation. For it, but, but, but going to delete his Instagram uh, um, account, isn't that supposed to be like, He's trying to avoid being caught. He just he, made his intentions known. He supposedly no. did that. Did not do that. He should not delete his account. He should have done that. It's, it's I mean, amazing. Be, be plain and let, you know, I know Nigerians for one, yes. one thing. If he didn't do that, Nigerians would fight for you. They will come out in mass to say, look, we know this person. But deleting your Instagram page. I really do hope to God that that's not him because Nigeria <laughs> is so much in the bad news and bad books. Suskid, you're a celebrity. We can't afford to have you on such blacklist. Very we'll true. have every other normal guy, but not us. Come on. They pay you for shows. Stop doing this to us. It's very unfair. true. Very true. I, I, I was blown away seeing that video. I just, I can't even differentiate. Could, I, could it be that he was cloned? <laughs> because I really don't know what to say. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Suskid, while you handle your case. Well, we'll go on a short break now. When we come back, find out which American actor threatened to kill his wife and commit suicide on our international news scene. And also find out what happens when you propose to your girlfriend at an airport in Nigeria on our <laughs> random segment. Woo -woo. We also have a special guest who would be revealing to you as the show goes on. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll be right back. Right mm -hmm. back. Welcome back. We head straight into our international news scene. Troubled actor Columbus Short has been ordered to stay away from his estranged wife, Tori Short, and their daughter after allegedly threatening to kill her and then kill himself. Mm. Scandal star Columbus Short has been thrown out of his house and his wife has filed for divorce after he allegedly put a knife to her throat last week and threatened to kill her and kill himself. According to a new restraining order, Short got into it with his wife April 7th at their Chatsworth home where she claims he came into her room intoxicated with a wine bottle in hand, acted like he was going to hit her with the bottle and then unloaded the wine on her. Hmm. What is nasty? Tura Short claims Columbus then ran to the kitchen for a knife, pinned her to the couch and began choking her. She says he then demanded they play a game called Truth or Truth. He allegedly said if she lied, he would stab her in the leg. She says he then started naming men he believed she was having an affair with. She denied them all, but he allegedly then put the knife to her throat and threatened murder and suicide. As she tried escaping, she says he slashed her in the thigh. Columbus Short, are you wow. on drugs? Is he really? trying to 
to, to do the whole uh, scandal thing. I think he's trying to add scandal in, in real <laughs> life, man. This I'm is sure, real life. I'm sure you guys know who Columbus Short is. He's one of the actors in the TV series Scandal, scandal. that had the Olivia Pope as a lead character. Yes, and you know, Columbus Short is such a good actor. I, yeah. I love his movies, I love his acting. To think that he's actually that disturbed to do that to his wife, wow. literally threatening to stab her. And then kill himself. Damn, you're from. I think I think he's from. He should he be from. He needs to Maury. go to the rehab. He's, he's from Mori. He's he's, he's 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 somewhere from Nigeria. That is, is too gangster for America, man. You're from Mori. You should come back to your roots. Well, he needs to go to the rehab. He that needs to check so into much. the rehab pre pretty soon. And I think the woman should just stay clear from him for a while. Yes. Not rush into a divorce. As a matter of fact, stay away from him for a while. Oh, but but also, it's been going on for a while. That's the problem. He's wow. been assaulting her. He's been um, domestically. Abusing, abusing her. her so yes but now that this is just the the, the straw that broke the camel's back so they have to wow. split i advise you woman please pack your bags and run the next time we'll find out that the knife was stuck in your throat or in your stomach oh no. you know now he threatened we he don't know what happened next he time. needs jesus columbus you need jesus we'll give you jesus <laughs> <laughs> well on our random segment we have a young man who proposed to his girlfriend as a landed at the benin airport that's right. The excited young lucky lady didn't hold any emotion back. And she said, yes! Love in the air. What with people proposing in all the weird places? Because that's why it's our random with, segment. We started, we started, that's why it's our random segment. We started with the, now is the airport. There was one in the plane. There was one on Twitter. But you guys, you can see the picture now. I, I'm sure you can see the picture. Do you see everybody around just literally looking away? <laughs> Nigerians, Wait. please let us encourage our own. When you see something happening, clap, stop and look, stare. Don't be like, that this one's, but it happened oh, in Benin. Benin people ain't got time. We ain't got time <laughs> to look at people. We're like, what's in the way this, this one? Is this another I'm Hollywood like, movie? You know, they're like, within. you know nowhere to propose now. Bro, do you want, I didn't shoot me a pass, so. Um, but we're happy for you, we're happy. We don't know his name, but he's such a lucky dude. And yeah. he's uh, the lady ticked. Yes. Well, the lady's lucky. She's the lucky one. No, he's the lucky one. I She's like the lucky him. one. No, the guy's the lucky one. Oh, okay. She said yes. Fine. If she didn't say yes, he won't be lucky. Oh, He'll okay. Be so yeah, true so. that. True. Yes, you get it right. It's all about now, us. let me ask. If you were proposed to at an airport, what would? How would you feel? Okay. Depends on the airport. <laughs> now you Depends win. on the airport. No, it can't be beating airport. No. <laughs> anyway, now you want to be famous. You want to be talked about, easy stuff. Just go out there, do something newsworthy, something out of the ordinary, and boom, you'll be featured right here on the show. Oh, yeah. That's right, guys. As easy as ABC. But whatever you do, please stay alive. Please stay alive. <laughs> well, that being said, we head straight to our celebrity countdown segment. Today, we'll be counting down on our top five most controversial Nigerian male celebrities. Whoop, whoop. Controversial male celebrities, meaning male individuals who are top of their game, either in the music or movie scene, or whatever scene they find themselves, mm -hmm. who have given us all something to talk about. Okay. Things we have frowned at and considered not exactly role model -y. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's dig into it, Simo. Very true, Nancy. At number five, we have our very own Aye Krona, Davido. Aye. <laughs> I love Davido. I love yeah. his song. I love his style. I think he's an amazing artist. I think he's extremely talented, you know, the fact that he does not even rely on his parents' wealth. Yeah. And he's doing something for himself. That means a whole lot to me mm -hmm. and lots of Nigerians. But Davido, come on. That all of those pictures where there's always a girl in the trying picture. to really in I, bed with him. I don't Come get on, it. I don't it get it. Just once, and it's beginning to you know. I know that very soon they will cook up stories like these girls are his fans. They only always want to take a picture with him. But do they, does it have to be on him on the bed after they just had? And does know, it always have to look have? like they're half naked? You know, I don't and, get and it. And he's always passed out, drunk or something. <laughs> but it's like, let's 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 cut him some slack. It's only happened. We've only seen about two three pictures like that. Yeah, and he's tried to stay. Clean clean for a while for a while. Now. So we hope you stay clean for a long time, but that doesn't mean you're off the chain. You still are very controversial, David. O. You have our number five spot. <laughs> well, the number four spot goes to no other person but Whiskey. Yeah, really, I have a few things I need to say about Whiskey. I think he needs to take a chill pill and have a little bit of patience and tolerance. As a celebrity, when your fans say things to you that you do not like, I think you should be able to correct them politely. That's what I love Don Jazzy for. Yes. When his fans say things that are sounding very insultive, 
He has a way of turning it into a joke. Okay. But whiskey, the moment you say things to him, he instantly wants to give you a record of your poverty life. And <laughs> He well, makes a list of how much your father didn't have and how much he's earning. It's not, exactly. it's not necessary. It's like whiskey it's not did not forget that we the fans also contributed Made to this him who he is. is. True. If, it, if we didn't buy your albums, if we did not attend your shows, True. you won't have the money. You're boasting and bragging of It's literally our money in your pockets. Our money gathered together in your, in your pockets. Pocket. So try True. to give us the respect that we deserve as your fans. But you have a lot of growing up to do. We really cannot try to, you know, Compare him to Don Jazzy now. Don yeah, Jazzy has grown. He's true. an older man. So Whiskey will give you the benefits of the Time to grow. Please grow. <laughs> grow yeah, really fast because we'll we're not that patient. <laughs> <laughs> well, at number three, we have our own Nollywood bad boy, Jim I. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Jim Mike has uh, done well to put himself in the news for a while. Apart from his um, reality show, uh, and the whole... Um, Kittles and Space, him and uh, yeah. Nadia. Yeah, and the whole uh, Deliverance video, everything has really put him out there, you know. But I, I think his, all his reality show and the things he's doing about it, the whole engagement, is getting too dramatic for me. I don't know if you're trying to entertain us, if there's something real in this reality show. But you have to understand this, Seymour. The new generation of Nollywood is coming up. Okay. The old generation have to do something to measure up. To stay in the news. news. Oh, I because, get you know, it. Most people oh, have I thought, get it. That's why it's so advisable to young people out there. Please, if you're trying to follow music, you're trying to follow movies, try and attain a degree, please. It's very important. So when it's time for you to say, let me bow my head and do something else, you yeah. will not be caught unawares. You won't be seen struggling to still have the attention you had so many years ago. So but try to have an education is so important. I think some, sometimes these celebrities struggle with, just like what you're saying, they struggle with staying away from the news. Yes. The moment they're popular, it's like, I want to be there. So I want to the right die things. there. Do the right things. You can say, <laughs> Genevieve will forever be in the news. Uh, Auntie Jockey Silva will yeah. forever be in the news. These are older people who are still in the news, but just do the right things. Don't do things that your younger ones will do. Then, then we're just wondering what the hell, what is happening. What's happening? <laughs> Well, taking our number two spot is no other person but our beloved crazy eccentric <laughs> Dan Rele. Yeah, Dan Rele. Dan Rele. Dan Rele has stayed uh, in the news because of his outlook. For me, I think crazy. that is one way. Are you, are you gonna it's imitate crazy. him? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one way he's he's let the world know. You have no choice than to accept me the way the I am. am yes. I love to dress like this. I love to wear heels. I love to look like a lady. Exactly. I love to look like a crazy lady. Exactly. So love me or leave me. Exactly. That's his signature. He's stuck to it. And it was, it's hard for you to find such crazy signature in Nigeria and stick to it because we'll talk you out of it. We know yeah. how to make people change their mind. Yeah. It's how to make you think you didn't make the right decision. But we're very proud of you, generally, for True sticking that. to it. But you're very controversial. We really don't have so much on you, but we know that you're always in the news for your crazy hair, your crazy yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. And you know how crazy you can be but you're still adorable we still love, love you. you we love you there really <laughs> <laughs> all right now on our number one sport is someone they call the area father uh -oh. mm. you see him you know he's one area man as a whole he goes by the name charlie boy <laughs> Former P man president. Very true. Oh yes, and Very true. he's he's older, way older, but he's still so energetic. And I never understand the scores he wears on his body. There's always so much scores on his body. If he's always in a coffin. There's one he's piercing always coming out of or the coffin. other. One piercing or the other. He's All either around. doing the pose with you know a calabash in front of Have him. Have you What's seen up? the naked pictures he took? Jeez. I I saw it and I said to myself. Daddy Charlie Boy or Grandfather Charlie Boy. Grandpa. I don't know Grandpa. You know when I was watching him long time ago, man. That's a, a long time I've been watching him, and wow. the fact that he's still doing that. Well, he cares. He cares less what you all think. Exactly. Really. And we're not. But who are we to judge? Who are we to him? judge? He has a family. He has a wife who loves him. Who he loves him just the way he is? Who way even probably older than us, and they love him the way he is, and True. he knows himself. So, but you're very controversial, Charlie Boy. Daddy Charlie Boy. <laughs> Grandpa Charlie Boy. Grandpa Charlie Boy. But you are number one sport, Daddy Charlie Boy. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Well, there you have it, guys. Our countdown for the week. Feel free to tell us what you think about our countdown. Did we miss someone out? Please let us know. We would love for you to say to our faces. 
Rather than a bag. True that. You ladies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so please drop your comments and suggestions on any of our social media platforms. It is strolling on your screens right now. Very true. We'll go on a short break now, and when we come back, we'll have winner of Project Fame Season 2, Mike Ayasudu, also known as iMike, on our hot seat. Mm -hmm. He will not only carry out tasks for us, but also tell us about himself, as well as run his heart out with Nancy and I. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss any of this, so no. don't move a muscle. Do not move a muscle. Welcome back, good people. If you're just joining us, you've certainly, certainly missed a lot. But not to worry, we have right here on our hot seat, we know our Project Fame Season 2, Mike Anya Sodo. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thank you. Welcome. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. As usual on the show, we have a huge, huge surprise for all our guests. And you are in for a big surprise. <laughs> now, all you have to do is pick uh, a paper from here. Actually, you're supposed to pick three. One for her, one for me, and one for your fans. So we're going to start with, just pick one for anyone. We can start with her. I mean, just beautiful today. Uh, but, but before <laughs> I pick here, I need to ask one honest question. Okay. I hope... They are all positive things. Oh, yeah. Yes, positive. We are positive people here. It's a so family are, show. So, yeah, yeah, so, so we make sure we ask you positive questions. Is it, does it um, maybe ask me whether I marry somebody or something? <laughs> what did you pick and find exactly. out? Exactly. I know you are both for school. <laughs> That's cheating, Mike. It's not cheating. Just I, pick one. No, every, I'm picking the one. <laughs> okay, let me help you with that. I hope you need to change writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this is really, really simple. Uh, the national anthem. Oh, you're going to say the national Nigerian, anthem. I'm you're going to friend. you're going to say the second verse of the national anthem. The second stanza. Second stanza. Thank you, darling. No problem. Second verse. Second stanza. Mm -mm. Go, Mike. Just go. Just go, say one. Go, Mike. Is it the old God of creation? Like, yeah. Whatever you think is the second stanza, please go ahead. <laughs> I love Nigerians. Good. So, you know, represent Nigerians and just say it. Hey, well, I do. Uh, I said that time we will go to school. When I can school, we start. I only arise with compassion. <laughs> oh, God. Mike, you can oh, God. Do it. oh, God of creation. Direct our noble cause. No, you have to sing it. Hmm? You have to sing it. Okay, if I sing it, uh, it will be better because I'll just give you the melody and forget yeah. the Perfect. words. Perfect, that's what we want. No, 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 he, he just says something. <laughs> he will give you the melody and forget the words. We want to hear the words. Oh, God of creation, direct our noble Clap for me, Fantastic. I'm Nigerian. Of Hello. course you are. Uh, why would I know the circumstances of my True that, thing? true that. <laughs> are you done? Yeah, he, he, he did good. He did try. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you want to pick another one for me? For you? I'll yeah. pick two. <laughs> <laughs> the one is fine. No, just That's fine. One uh, is fine. You're not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give a motivational speech in your dialect. A motivational speech? Yes, in your Just dialect. Just a one minute thing, something short. Okay. Well, Ibo Kwenu. Eh. Ibo Kwenu. Eh. Moanu. Eh. Zonu. Eh. Rienu. Eh. Yenu. Kwezonu. Eh. Aha. Uno mana owa abu popo. Mana onye hurota ega ahunye echi. So, kita na uno na ahu yourselves together. Na bankata ne me. You understand? So we all have to value it. Because odiro easy. Although everybody that woke up this morning has the mouth to speak. Uma, nkam na so na u inglibo. Oye ha na bwe. You understand? So let's just live the life. It's a free life, you know. Enjoy yourself, cause nothing lasts forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank I, I really would love to understand what he said because I got lost in between it all. I heard a lot of English. You said what language is that again? That's Igbo language. Oh, Igbo? Yeah. But there's English in it. That's Igbo. Sorry? Igbo. Oh, nice. Igbo. Igbo. See your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you need to pick for your fans. You, Uncle. You picked it's for me picked already. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. My fans. Nice. <clears throat> okay, this is payback time, people. Okay, this is uh, quite simple. Tell us your worst date ever. My worst date? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that smile. It tells me there's a lot about it. There's a lot to tell. There's a lot to tell. Mm -hmm. Well, um, my worst date. I've had like a series of <laughs> bad dates. What's the worst? Worst? <laughs> the one that you feel like, gosh, you I don't want to forget. Exactly. Well, it's a. Uh, uh, that was then though. Okay. I, I got I called um, I got a contact from the internet. Okay. Yeah. And this person, we like Lotto. You know when guys, boys, they do G, they throw Lotto. Okay. Yeah. So this lady, she described herself as so 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 name. I don't want to call. Her name. Okay. And there was no picture. They're yeah, on the profile. Mhm. Mm so I went into her pictures and I saw about. Six or four, same person. Okay. So she said she was not in Nigeria, and she was coming to Nigeria. I said, "Oh, can I pay your ticket okay. down to Nigeria?" She said, "No." Oh right. She will foot her bills. I said, "Wow, now is this one a big fish? <laughs> Thank God, we got done butter my bread." <laughs> and I said, "Okay, fine. When are you coming?" She said she will prepare everything in like two weeks. Okay. I started preparing. I. I even had to, may they forgive me, mm. I had to tell my friends okay. to leave my house. Whoa. Yeah, because I needed privacy. Privacy, you know, oh, I get the it. The whole five rooms, no go reach. Mm. Do anything. Mm. Mm. I wanted to okay. do it everywhere, you can get all nasty and all. Oh, I get yeah. it. I but, get it. Family show, family show, my. No, nasty could be like talking, say, Daddy, I don't like this. Mommy, I don't like that. Yeah. That's nasty. <laughs> so, so how did you how did you go date? Well, um, uh, after like two weeks and uh, I think three days, two weeks or two weeks and two days, yeah. she she called. Okay. See you. My brain no carry me go first. Somebody called me with a Nigerian number. <laughs> okay. And said, I'm in Nigeria now. I said, Oh wow. Who is this? She told me. I said, Hey, I'm coming to the airport to pick you. She said, No, 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 no. Where are you? I'm coming to meet you. I want to tell. Let me know. I said, okay. okay, fine. She, I gave her my address. Okay. She started. Then I was on the mainland. She, she started coming towards my place. And I was living in a Mali phase one then. Okay. So, um, I went, I was out. I wasn't around. I was out with my friends. I got back home. I arranged myself, I uh, went to shower, warm the food, mm. spray. A lot of preparation you for know. that day. Mike. I'm, no, I'm a very good cook, trust oh, me. Oh, really? You know cook rich me, I tell you. Oh, really? Wallahi. And that's, that's good then, imagine you. you just knew. Oh. You know cook rich me. One really? of these days, yeah, just like, give me an opportunity to make to something cook. for We're you. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll come. I'll come. You can't no. cook on the show. Yeah, okay, definitely. definitely. Okay. All right, um, so I made everything yeah. ready. And I got a bell on my door. On my gate, sorry. On my gigan, gate. Gigan, gigan. My gate man say, Oh girl, what madame they find you? I say, Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I say, Madam. I don't say, Ah, thank God. I didn't. God let them inside. That my, 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 this is me that. We just go, I couldn't lie. And my, my woman way back. Well, you don't travel, you go study something. Don't just come out. I say, Hey, we'll carry bag. From window, she was already inside the compound. Yeah. From the window when I opened. Oh God. What did you see? Well, it's not like it's a bad thing. Okay. Or, or it's bad for me. 
No, not like it's bad for me, but I'm not comfortable. It wasn't with... your choice, your kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. get it. Because every woman is beautiful, old, young, yeah, short, true that. fat. <laughs> true that. <laughs> So that's the worst date you've ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like seriously, man, I, I, I couldn't come out. Okay. I was indoors. I had to tell the guy, my gate man, to tell him, tell her to wait outside. That wasn't around. I was on my way back. Oh. So I put my phone on silent because she was calling and walking around the house. Hmm. She was calling me, walking. In around other the words, house. you were evil to her. It wasn't a worst date. It wasn't even to you. You were evil to her, so no, I'm sure I that's wasn't, her worst state, not no, your worst state. No, 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 no. Don't say that. <laughs> Imagine that, okay, maybe press with you and you did yeah. there now. Okay. Come see that guy woman being with you. Hmm. That guy no be that woman no be woman being with you. Oh, okay, that was definitely fun. But uh would um like to ask you a few questions, personal questions if you don't mind. Now it's time for serious business. Seymour, please. Sir. I would want to know, I know a lot, a lot of people out there really want to know, what inspired you to do music? The, the, my environment, actually, plus the talent that was burning in me. Okay. Like, that is burning in me, so. Okay, that inspired you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you encounter any obstacle trying to, you know, get into the music industry or to pursue your dream? Of course, of course, of Tell course. Us Even. About even the A-list, so-called A-list artists we have today, they, they have difficulties. Okay. Day-to-day, like -day, you know, even the music they're doing is difficult to make music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then when I was starting here, yeah, um, let's say amongst 100 people, yeah. I was like number five at what I was doing then. Okay. So, you know, singing and dancing and making beats and all that in worry just to say but it wasn't easy okay because the envious ones would be there trying to say this guy is whack mm. you know he has to go down or i make beat for this person and the, my boss will say why did he make beat for you let me do the beat okay mike jerry that was what i used to answer okay. jerry leave my studio wow. and i'll have to go start all over again from somewhere you know do apprenticeship for someone do boy boy clean house clean car and all that just to sleep in someone's studio you wow. do all of that of wow. course wow. yeah i i started taking care of myself at age 14. wow yeah mm. Mm. okay project fame mm -hmm. tell us about that we'd like to know how your auditions went how it was for you in the house as well as throughout the competition how was it for you well um i'll, I'll in a word, I'll call it misery. You know? hmm. Yes. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> but when I won, Real? when I won was, you know. Amazing. Yeah, Thank we you. all love happy endings. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Yeah, because so from the onset, before the um, Project Fame auditions, I was, I was, I, I came for a Yaya season. Oh. I got kicked out at the gala, gala night, gala show. Wow. Oh. Like the one, the show before you go into the academy. Yeah. I got kicked out. Wow. Because, you know, maybe, I don't believe that every, everybody has time, but yeah, so the time comes when it comes. Exactly. You get, so you have to make use of it. Well, you, you, you came back and you won. So yeah. That's the reason, that's, that's the most important you know, thing. You didn't come back and still be a runner-up. When, they say, when they say everybody has his time and season or yeah. everything, it's exactly. like that time and season comes like repeatedly. Exactly. It keeps coming, yeah. but it just take, just take it, the it takes time. Okay. When it comes now, it will take a while. It will come again. It take another while. It'll come again. So that's how it goes. That's okay. amazing. So we'd like to know when you were born. What was the first thought that came to your mind? Was it Kai? I don't hammer, or was it I can finally do music now professionally? Tell us what was. Kai, what really came to I your mind? don't hammer. First thought, Avi. <laughs> no, that's a Nigerian for you. First thought. <laughs> you know, you know, someone like. Someone that didn't expect to, you know. To win? Not even to win. To have about 500,000 in his account. Wow. You know? I get it. Just from nowhere. My, my mom followed me down on Top Project Film. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you. That would have felt really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there for me. That's good. Yeah. I love you, amazing. Mom. Now, since the, the winning, you've been in the industry, doing a lot of things. What exactly, are you, uh, what other collaboration are you working on right now? Any new thing happening with you? Of course. Oh, of tell course. us about a lot, it. A lot, a lot. What have you been cooking up? 
<laughs> uh, uh, you see, I am. Um, people are starting to say I'm a one hit wonder man. But it's not like that. Yeah, because every time I drop something, it causes fights in the industry. You know? Okay. Everybody wants to get better than that thing. Mm. Uh, but I'm working on my album now. Okay. I have a lot of songs, but I keep working. Okay. Yeah, right now I'm working with Jay Slick. He's my personal producer. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And um, I have Omoba already, like The Prince already on the song. I have Whiskey on the song. Mm. I have Lauren Hill. Really? Everything, Lauren yeah. Hill, Lauren, Lauren Hill, Hill, yes, the, the wow. Lauren Hill, you know. Wow. I have her on, uh, on the album, and it's going to come out real soon, but did not fix yet. Wow. Yeah, after, after two singles, then I'll drop my album. Great. Two more singles, yeah. Great, man, I can't wait for the Lauren Hill one. That's, that's amazing. You're working Yeah, really I could hard. play for you when you come pay me a visit in my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. Now, um, let's take a look into, let's, uh, you know, give us an insight into your background. What has it been like for you and your family? Have they been very supportive? Are there moments where they said, look, just change your profession and go somewhere else? Yeah, from the onset. Okay. They, they, my family never wanted me to do music okay. as a profession, but they loved the fact that I could sing and I could play instruments. They wanted you to do in church, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But I run. I run come off a house at age 14, my family wow. house at age 14. I started wow. taking care of myself. Um, you know, I took care of my secondary school, so like half. Wow. All by uh, yourself? Yeah, half wow. of my secondary school. Wow. Days. I took care of myself into the university. Then I ran out of the university. Again. I'm Rosalie University. Yakboma. <laughs> yeah, so. Nice. I left there. I used to stay in Eromo, but some things happened. Mm. I ran. So I went to Uniport after two years. Okay. Yeah, and I left Uniport. So um, the music has been there, you know, and all that. I have a sister, my mom, my mom's sisters, and everybody around me. I took care of my, my little cousins. Okay. So, uh, in other words, Mike, you have a good heart, and you are very industrious, and you can take care of yourself. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That's good. So let's um, let's get down from the serious, um, you know. Let's 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 try yeah. and loosen up a yeah, bit. Exactly. Mm. Before I start to cry, man. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. <laughs> now, as a man, I'm sure you have female celebrity crushes. You know, women you wish you could take to the altar anytime, any day. Can you name just two of them for us? One Nigerian and one non-Nigerian celebrity crush. She could be anywhere from the world, anywhere in the world. It could be South Africa, it could be Ghana, it could be Bene. Just name two celebrity crushes. Female, please. If you have males, you can keep that. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. She's kidding. She's kidding. I'm just joking. She's kidding. I'm I just need to call my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us about this female, uh, this well, female crush. Um, the two, my two female um, crushes that I have in Nigeria are celebrities. Yeah. Yes. They're two gorgeous people. One is Fanta and one is Coke. <laughs> you know, the names. The names. Their names are right here with me. Mm -hmm. you know? But you we're not. I know what you're trying to say. We're not celebrities, so we understand you have Says who? So it's Go fine. pass or Jota. <laughs> Whether you know that you're celebrities or not. Okay, so aside from us in the studio, tell us which other celebrity okay. crush. One non-Nigerian and one Nigerian. Okay, uh, Nigerian celebrity, female celebrity that I would like to take to the altar. Yes. <clears throat> Just that. She don't even hear this thing. I'm not sure say she they watch this kind of TV. So Why? She could be watching. If people say her own her cloud, she they look, they watch TV <laughs> or something. Because their level, you know. Just tell I just, I just, she I just wish she could hear me. Yeah. Say, say it like so she can hear you. Imagine she can hear you. She's, she's, hear you. she's, a, she's a mother. You know. Okay. Yeah. She's a mother. Aww. Aww. Oh, okay. I swear. We'll, we'll swear make sure she watches this and just and knows. Please, yes, please, so please. Sure. And um, outside Nigeria. Internationally. 
international or Outside West Africa? Nigeria. No, no, wherever. West Africa, Africa, the world, Europe. It's Rihanna. I Ooh. swear to God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Good choice. Nice. So <laughs> Rihanna and Omotola. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. Don't Rihanna worry. Rihanna is crazy. Omotola is emotional. And, and you like the combination of both. You know, and you can take Rihanna to the altar anytime, any day. No, no be like that. Not altar. <laughs> Why you carry Rihanna to the altar? You won't kill yourself. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, no, no. Not altar. Dates. <laughs> Rihanna and a date. Omotola can go to the altar. Okay, okay, okay. If I say Beyonce now, <laughs> Jay-Z, if you just do something from somewhere. <laughs> This place where the only year we just catch fire. <laughs> no, we get it. No, we get it. We get it. At least we now we it. know your crushes. Right. So we'd also like to know, what's the most embarrassing moment in your life? Can you be kind enough to share that with us? The most embarrassing, like, you couldn't even look anyone in the eyes. Okay. When I won Project Fame. Okay. Today I, today I, I, I got the, the big check. Yeah, the one you see. During the whole, yeah, I don't win, I don't win. My trouser. <laughs> if I was there, plenty of people were there. Okay. Mr. Mr. Yeni saw it too. Ooh. Yes. Mr. Yeni the boss boss saw it too. Yes, yeah, the boss. He saw it. I think he was the one that said, see Mike's pants, see Mike. I didn't even know. Oh. That's the worst, the most embarrassing. I wish I knew. Were you peeing or? Peeing, okay. Okay, what? What? It's here! Yeah. Oh, yeah, reach back. Oh, reach my belt side. Oh, and the whole of I hope you're wearing boxers. You must of have course. Not. A lot of, of people. course, oh. of course. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm about to get a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. My imagination is going pretty far. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. But any last words for your fans out there? Any words of advice for people out there who want to follow your footsteps, go into music, become famous? Well, okay. no, I um, don't follow anybody's footstep. Okay. Yeah, just do your thing, learn from people's mistakes, you know, keep your head right, pray, believe in something, you know, just even if you don't believe in anything, you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the devil. Just believe in some, believe in maybe yourself or your talent, or just believe in something and it will work. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, that's an amazing one. Yeah. Well, it's about time, guys. That's right. The time for you to stop, stop it. it. It's time for us to rant about what we think is wrong and ask the perpetrators to stop it. Well, I'll give uh, Nancy the honors to start first. Okay, now before we start, Mike, we're going to rant about. Think about something you think is so wrong, something that you've seen, something that someone has done to you, someone, something that Nigerians do on a daily basis. Think about it and then talk about it. Tell, say how you want the person to stop it. Fair girls talking to me, looking at no, me. No, you, you, no, wait, wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. Then you talk I about hate it. it. Wait, wait, yeah. Mike. You, you will get your light skin girls. Wait. Looking into my eyeballs and talking to me. Okay, you need Doing them to. Like this. Oh, Mike, it's not your turn yet. You will get to talk about it, so just hang she's on. She's touching me. Oh, God, I don't dare. <laughs> all right, Nancy, go ahead. Rant okay. all you want. So we have 30 seconds to rant each. I, sure. I'm based, I just want to talk about those people who cross the road in Nigeria, in Lagos. Please, when the green light goes green, it means stop and let cars pass. Mm. And then when it goes red, then you can cross. Don't try to cross in front of people because you're risking your life, you're risking your safety, and you're risking the safety of the people in the car. So please, know how to cross the road. And don't cross the road like Sena Yopa and I press the quota. No. <laughs> try and cross the road, like run through the road. If you're not going to use the bridge, run through the road. Do not expect us. Thank you. And stop it, stop it. Nice. See more. It's important that people get that, you know. Exactly. Well, I really need to talk to people who throw out things from their car into the streets of Lagos. The government and the Lagos state governor is doing so much to make sure everywhere is clean. So when you eat things, drop it in your car. Or if you're in a commercial bus, drop it inside the bus. It's that simple. Please stop the train the road. Please stop it. 30 seconds, Mike. Let's see okay. if you can do this. 30 seconds, eh? Yes, yes. yes. Start Starting counting. now. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, yes, I do. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. That's a lie. <laughs> yes, but I do. Whatever it is you have, yeah. is it up to 15 seconds? No, just go ahead. You're still counting. Mm. still counting. Mm. Okay. I want to use this one. 
one una two. Okay. No search on a boyfriend phone. Oh, okay. Hmm? okay. It's very wrong because it causes um, domestic violence. Oh. Do you know. Hmm. You know, it's, it, it, it could it could cause like something you don't want you don't want to get you don't want to see something. Why go search for it? It's very mm. wrong. Oh right. You know, it's best you don't know. But just keep it safe. Nice. And what? Yes. Yeah. Stop it. Nice. Stop searching your boyfriend's phone or your girlfriend's phone. It's wrong. You cheat, she cheats. <laughs> you cheat. So stop it. Oh, stop oh it. that's okay. amazing. That's amazing. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Really? That was pretty fast. 30 yeah. seconds. Thank and you, And I like Mike. the topic he picked to talk about. Mm -hmm. Stop searching Ooh. your boyfriend or girlfriend's phone. We have unfortunately come to that part of the show where we have to kiss you goodbye. But you know where to find us same time, same day, next week, right here on Get TV Channel 129. Bye. They say kiss you goodbye. Kiss me goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, Mike. You've been amazing, and you're just, you're a blast. You're a blast in a glass. Yes, you are. <laughs> this is gonna go <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed all the juicy gist we squeezed out for you today. Don't forget to visit our page and leave your comments. Until we see you again, please stay safe, stay off drugs, don't drink and drive, don't drink then drive. In fact, don't drink at all. <laughs> Bye, guys. No. Pick one for me. We'll give you all show. of it. <laughs> Bye, guys.